Hi friends, this is Movie Recap. This is the recap for the movie, The Cook, The Thief, His Wife and Her Lover, from 1989. This movie is about what happens around a criminal called Albert, who owns a high-class restaurant and uses it to launder money. The film opens with several men arriving in two trucks and a car to torture a man who is naked. The mob members release the dogs, which bite him and leave him on the ground. We know that Albert is a man who likes to impose himself, give orders, and be in control at all times. It is a mafia with certain touches of elegance, with children singing opera and cloth suits. Albert's restaurant is considered haute cuisine, it is spacious and caters to many people. Albert is a man with an aggressive temper and even hits his wife in front of other people who work in the restaurant. Outside of the kitchen, the restaurant is an imposing red space, and you can see that the customers there are people with money. At a dinner party, Albert's wife, Georgina, begins to stare at a man who is eating alone at a table near them. She looks at him and he looks back at her, and her husband, who is deep in one of her rants, chides her for not paying attention to him. Albert is the kind of man who never, ever shuts up. His wife goes to the bathroom, where she meets the man she was looking at in the restaurant and offers to smoke, something her husband forbids her to do in the restaurant. He returns to the restaurant and leaves something in a book for the man. She goes back to the bathroom and there she finds him again. They lock themselves in a cubicle and hastily have sex. Albert walks into the bathroom and asks her what she's doing there. She tells him that she is smoking. The guy has so much ego that he doesn't suspect a thing and leaves before she went out with her lover. As she leaves, Albert grabs her and shakes her violently and sexually. Another day at the restaurant we see Georgina with a different hairstyle in the restaurant and her lover who ate there again, and who was already watching her carefully. Albert is drunk and Georgina goes to the kitchens with her lover. She is much nicer to the workers, who offer her a space to have sex with her lover while they cook. Albert would hardly catch them there, although he was inspecting the kitchen there, he didn't realize that his wife was four meters away having sex with one of their diners Albert treats his wife badly also in front of the diners, he touches her and makes fun of her while he doesn't stop talking. He is violent with his companions and even accuses them of being morbid when he does the same. He also treats the boy who sings badly and basically commits child abuse because he wants to sing for him in the exact way he wants. Albert goes so far as to threaten his wife and child with the dogs. He puts them in a car and attacks his wife while the boy runs away. Georgina still continues with her adventure, and everyone in the kitchen is already complicit so that she can be with her lover without being disturbed by her husband. The dishes, the tables, the decorations, and everything in the restaurant is extravagant, and that makes Albert unaware of many things that happen under the roof of his restaurant. Albert seems high all the time, he talks to everyone he meets and seeks confrontation with things that he himself tries to understand and resolve. The guy is so stupid that he annoys his wife's lover by eating alone in his restaurant and reading, and even takes him to eat at his table and introduces him to his wife. The move backfires because he brags about everything he gives his wife, including paying a good gynecologist. The lover says that he is a gynecologist and that whenever his wife wanted she could visit him. After the guy leaves the restaurant, Albert confronts his wife and abuses her again. Albert lives in a power fantasy in which he is the center of the whole world. And he doesn't realize that Georgina is still seeing her lover behind his back and in his restaurant. They usually have sex in the pantry, behind where the chefs cook, and behind a wall. Albert also uses his restaurant for his revenge on the mob, so all the diners witness his excesses. The days go by and the lovers continue their adventure. Albert mistreats a woman and she, out of rage, tells him about his wife's affair. Albert stabs the woman in the face with a fork and sits down to eat. Albert looks for Georgina in the bathroom but can't find her, and then in the kitchen, but the pair hide in the freezer. Albert freaks out and starts trashing his own restaurant and screaming maniacally. The ear climbs onto one of the trucks, which the workers prepared for them to leave. Then they go to the house of his lover, who has a huge amount of books. He's always reading in the restaurant, and Georgina finds out that books are his biggest passion. The next day they invite the singing boy to serenade them while they eat. The boy leaves the house and Albert tortures him by praying that he reveal the location of his wife. It ends up leaving him badly injured. The news reaches the ear, and Georgina goes to the hospital to take care of him. Albert eventually finds Michael, the lover, tortures him, and leaves him under a pile of his own books. He killed him by leaving pieces of paper from his favorite book in his mouth. Georgina arrives and lies down next to him. Meanwhile, Albert continues in his fantasy and is jealous of his wife with anyone. Georgina continues with her lover and confesses to him how much Albert abused her and constantly made her miserable. 
He even told him that she had left him four times, but he went and looked for her, asked her forgiveness, hit her, and everything continued as before. Georgina went back to the restaurant and talked to the chef in the kitchen, asking him to tell her what he saw them do, so it would feel real and not like a dream. The chef told him in a warm way what he had seen in the couple, the way they had made love. Georgina ended up crying, begging him to cook Michael for them to eat at the restaurant. Specifically, for Albert to eat. In the end, the chef accepts. The next day, a Friday, the restaurant is closed to the public for a private function, with elegant guests and special dishes. All the workers arrive, accompanied by the singing boy, and offer Michael's cooked body to Albert. They all force him to eat it. Georgina points her own gun at him and forces him to eat. He then shoots him in the head. This story really shows how a man's own pride can ultimately be his own downfall. Albert thought that he could people like shit and that people weren't ever going to respond to his aggressions, physical, emotional, and even sexual violence. His demise starts when he realizes that his wife had been cheating on him with the man that he was mocking. Unable to accept this new reality, Albert starts into a rage that cost lives, even his own in the end. At all times in the restaurant, he was sure of having absolute control of the people around him, and it was precisely the people around him that contained him, disarmed him, forced to eat the body of his victim, and killed him. And this is how the movie ends. Please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, thanks see you for the next one.